Actually, I prepare for my, my actual tailgating months in advance, okay? I mean, as soon as the season ends, we begin to start thinking about next season. The phone start ringing. We start lining up who we're going to hang out with. We start lining up our food vendors. We said, hey, you donating food to hang out with us because, you know, we, we can't pay for everything. We expect somebody. So we, we line all that stuff out. We usually have people, that, believe it or not, that actually donate and actually sponsor for our, for our events. We like all here. people except people from, from Ole Miss. No, really, <laughs> once people get here, anyone can come up yeah, and actually, hang out. That's very true. In fact, but, you know, tailgating in Arkansas has been a tradition around for a long, long time. Right. And it's not that we were trying to one-up the next guy or something like that. But this, you were. This, this, in, but all, in all honesty, he did. In all honesty <laughs> this, this actual bus became more of a dream for me and my family. You know, I have three children, two grandkids, and the idea behind this was when that when we built this bus, this built was built for me and my family, so that we would be able to continue with the tradition of traveling to games comfortably. And sometimes the weather doesn't always work out the way you'd like for it to work. Sometimes you run into a to a rainstorm. Sometimes the weather drops to 17 degrees. Sometimes uh, uh, you know just so hot outside. It's 104 degrees outside. And so this was built so that my younger kids, my children, they're getting older now, younger that my children would have a place comfortably to entertain themselves, stay contained, and be comfortable. And uh, out of that grew uh, into the tailgating scenes where we could, as adults, would stay outside for the most part. And in, in all honesty, and, all, and if you really look around, you'll notice that most of the kids, I mean, you see them, they stay in here, they play video games, they can watch Disney, or uh, they can play their little video games. The adults stay outside, you know? Yeah. Uh, we have had a couple of rainstorms where we've had about 30 or 40 people in here, you know? And, and uh, it's really kind of funny. Uh, you, uh, as we uh, drive through certain states, we get a lot of thumbs up, and in other states, we get a finger, <laughs> you know? And it just shows you how educated those people are. The tailgating bus provides people with a mascot outfit to wear at I mean, the tailgate. I mean, I don't think anyone really does. <laughs> right. <laughs> people of Arkansas, the fans of Arkansas, we don't have anything else to cheer for, like a right. professional team, so we live and die. And like Conway in Arkansas State. We really can't cheer for It doesn't sports. matter what part of Arkansas you grew up in. People ask me this question all the time. I said, what did it take for you to do this bus? And I said, take a little work and some paint by number that I got at my local Walmart, you know, and get at it one afternoon. It started with a dream. Me and my sons, we sat down, we mapped it out. We, we made some mistakes along the way, but we, we came up with a great uh, family uh, vehicle to travel around, and we love it. It is what it is. It is the hog bus. And now it represents 27,000 people, and he has just recently started allowing the Ugly Uncle Show uh, to broadcast from here. So. Absolutely. We do radio shows from you here. You like how I just do uh, I know, like doing that to you. Love it. Hey, Zoe, Razorback!